nurse today. I'm going to do a neuro neurological assessment on you today, okay? All right, then we're going to start the clock, okay? So um, just looking at your appearance, your posture is upright, you're dressed appropriately for the season, for the occasion, um, your grooming is well, your hygiene looks good, um, your behavior, your level of consciousness, you're alert, you're pleasant, your affect is pleasant and calm and um, relaxed. Um, your speech so far has been clear. Um, are you having any anxiety or depression? No. Nope. How's your mood been lately? It's good. Yeah. Haven't had any thoughts of suicide or hurting yourself or others? No. Nope. Okay, that's good. All right. If I thought that there was something going on, I would um, explore further on those things, okay? Um, then, cognitive abilities. First is orientation. Can you tell me your name? Charlotte McGallagher. Charlotte, okay. Um, what day is today? <laughs> I don't know. I know. You should know because you're um, in assessment class. October right. 19th. Or what day of the week? How about that? It's Friday. Oh, yeah. Of course you know that. Um, okay. And um, what year is it? Oh, no, wait. Where are we? Where are we? Person, place, and time. So, person, Charlotte, place. Um, what mobile? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what state are we in? Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> And um, you got time. Today is Friday. Okay, good. Um, okay, recent memory. Um, what class did you have yesterday? Pathophysiology. All right. Um, can you tell me where you were born? Mexico City. All right. Okay, so um, then we will talk about remote and. Um, I think we just did that. That was remote. Where were you born? Okay. So recent and remote memory are intact. Um, and then we're going to go on to cognitive process, um, reasoning. Um, can you tell me what it would mean if I said um, it's something is like looking for a needle in a haystack? It would be a hard task. Okay. All right. Where do you see yourself in three years, Charlotte? As an RN. Good. Okay. Good. All right. Um, and then we're going to go on and we're going to test your um, all of your cranial nerves. There's 12 of them. Um, so the first cranial nerve, cranial nerve one, is olfactory. So first I want to get you to include one there and sniff, and then include the other and sniff. Okay, so it sounds like your um, airways are patent. Now what I want you to do is close your eyes and include one there. I'm going to hold something under your nose and I'll just sniff and tell me what it is. Lemons? Lemons. Yeah, okay, <laughs> right. okay, let's do the other side now, Clay. Okay. What's that? Peppermint. Yes, <laughs> all right, good. So cranial nerve one, um, olfactory is intact. Cranial nerve two is optic, and oh, I need a vision card. Um, we'll pretend I have one. Okay. Um, so optic, um, we're gonna check your visual acuity. Now, if we were at a doctor's office, I would have a smelling chart on the wall, and I would have you stand 20 feet back, and I would get you to cover an eye, read the lowest line, and then cover your other eye, read the lowest line. I would look and, and um, determine your um, vision by those numbers that you could read. But today I don't have a smell chart, I have a handheld pocket screen or vision screener. So um, what I want you to do is cover one eye and read the lowest line that you can. Q-R-S-T-U-V. Okay, and it'll be numbers, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, and, and I'm holding this how far from her? 14 inches, okay. All right, now um, cover the other eye and read. Q-R-S-T-U-V. All right. So looking at this card, the line that you read, in your right eye you're 20 over 50, and your left eye you're 20, 20. Um, so for 20 over 50, what that means is that you can see at 20 feet what a person with normal vision can see at 50 feet, okay? Um, all right, then um, we're gonna go on go to cranial nerves three, four, and six, which is oculomotor, trochlear, and abducens. First, I'm gonna check cranial nerve three by looking at your pupils. All right, so looking at your pupils, they are equal, they are about an eight millimeters, both sides are equally at eight millimeters. They are round, and I'm gonna check and see if they're re reactive to light. First, I'm gonna check direct. I'm gonna shine it in one eye, and I'm looking at that eye to see if it, if it constricts, and it did. Now I'm going to check consensually. I'm shining in one eye. I'm looking at your other eye to see if it constricts, and it did. Um, and I would check this bilaterally. So um, you 
are good for um, reacting. Um, and then we're going to do accommodation. So if you'll look up at that exit sign and focus on that. All right. And now look at my finger and focus on that. And um, I should see a little constriction as you focus up close. And then we're going to go on and do um, convergence. So now I want you to look at my finger and I want you to follow it in. And as you did, your eyes rotated in on the axis, so convergence is intact, so perlac is intact. Um, so, and as I did that, I did tell you what all of those meant, like accommodation and convergence and all of that. Okay, now um, we're going on to back to cranial nerve five, which is the trigeminal. And so what I wanna do first is check the motor sensation um, of your face. So if you can, squeeze your jaws together your teeth. All right, good. So the muscles feel um, strong bilaterally. Um, okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to check the sensation of your face. So I want you to close your eyes, and every time I touch your face, I want you to say now, okay? So I'm using a cotton ball or something soft here. Now. 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 Okay, so trigeminal nerve, cranial nerve 5, is intact. Um, we're going to go on now to cranial nerve 7, which is the facial nerve. So what we're going to do first is I'm going to make some faces. I want you to do what I do, okay? So um, raise your eyebrows. Okay, now I want you to smile. I want you to frown. I want you to puff your cheeks. Okay, um, and I think that's it. I think that's all I want you to do, okay? Um, now, let's see. Yeah, because I checked all areas of your face, and everything was bilaterally symmetrical, okay? And um, if I was testing the sensory of cranial nerve 7 facial, I would check your ability to taste and distinguish salt, salty, sweet, sour, bitter um, on the front two-thirds of your tongue, but we're not going to do that today. Okay, cranial nerve 8 is acoustic, so we're going to do a whisper test. So what I want you to do is uh, cover one ear, and I want you to try to repeat what I say. Okay, the other ear now. Soccer. Good. So her hearing is intact. Um, cranial nerve 9 and 10, glossopharyngeal and vagus, we're going to check at the same time. So um, first thing I want you to do is I'm going to look in your mouth, and I want you to stick your tongue out and say, ah. Uh, okay, so the uvula and, pop and um, soft palate rose equally bilaterally on phonation. Um, the other thing I would do, which I'm not going to do to you today, is I would get you to open up and say ah, and I would poke the back of your throat with a swab or um, to see if you had a gag reflex, but we're not going to do that today. Okay, um, then um, also sensory for cranial nerve 9 and 10 would be checking your sense of taste on the posterior third of your tongue. All right, and then we're going to cranial nerve 11, which is your spinal accessory nerve. So for that, I'm checking your strength in your neck and your shoulders. Um, when I look at your shoulders, I see that your mus muscles are symmetrical. Um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get you to turn your head against my hand. Good. Oh, you're strong. All right, check the other side. Good. So equal strength bilaterally there. Now I'm going to put my hands on your shoulders. I want you to shrug up. Oh, good. So good equal strength bilaterally on um, both of those motions. So cranial nerve. 11 spinal accessories intact. Um, the last cranial nerve is cranial nerve 12. That is the hypoglossal. So I want you first of all to stick your tongue straight out. Okay. Now can you say light, tight, dynamite? Light, tight, dynamite. Very good. Your speech is very clear. So cranial nerve 12, hypoglossal is intact. Um, now I'm going to let you stand up and we're going to do some gait and balance tests for me. Okay. So first I just want you to walk over towards that chair regular. Okay. Very good. Now if you'll turn around and walk back tandem, which is heel to toe. Good. All right. So she had a good rhythmic great, um, gait that was smooth, um, and she maintained her balance on tandem walk. Now what we're going to do is check your Romberg test. So I want you to stand with your feet together, hands by your side, and I want you to close your eyes. And let's see. I would normally test this for 20 seconds. But for sake of time, we're going to cut it short here. But um, very good. You can open your eyes. You had a negative Romberg test, and that's normal. All right. Um, now, if you'll sit up here, I'm going to check your peripheral sensation, okay? 
So I've got my um, hammer here. I've got a dull side, which is going to feel like this. Okay, and then I've got a sharp side. You feel the difference there? All right, now I want you to close your eyes and I'm going to touch your extremities and you tell me if you feel dull or sharp. Very good. So your peripheral sensation is intact. Um, now, my favorite part, we're going to do your, your um, reflexes, okay? So first I'm going to do the bicep. So I can hold her arm and let her relax on my forearm like this. I'll do it on the other side in a minute for y'all. I'm going to find that tendon. I'm going to use this the tiny end of my hammer. I'm going to hit my nail here. See that reflex? Plus two. Okay, let me do the other side for y'all. Now, um, y'all can do just one side for your exam, um, but you're going to support their arm and let them relax. You find that tendon, you press down on it to stretch that muscle. Woo, good. Plus two. So, um, reflexes are, are um, rated on a zero to four. A two is normal, and a four would be hyperreactive. A zero would be no response, okay? So, that was the bicep. Um, the next one I'm going to do is your tricep. So, I'm going to hold your arm up and you just be loosey goosey, relax, okay? Tap, okay, y'all saw that twitch, okay? So, you go about an inch above that elbow and you tap, okay? Loosey goosey here. All right, let's see, there you go. All right, good. All right, so tricep is intact at a plus two. Now, I'm going to do break in radialis and I'm going to hold both your fingers here and you just relax and I'm going to tap about a uh, centimeter or so above the bony part there. You're loose and relaxed. So y'all saw that little, okay? Let me come around here so y'all can see. Okay, so she's relaxed. Great reflexes, plus two bilaterally. That's brachioradialis. All right, we're going on to patellar. So your legs are dangling freely here. I'm gonna tap at this tendon under your kneecap. Woohoo! yay, <laughs> All right, so here we go again. All right, it's plus two, so those are good. All right, then we're moving on to the Achilles reflex. So I'm going to hold her foot in dorsiflexion here, and you just relax and let me hold it. Whoop, that's hard to do. Okay, let's try this one. It's a little harder. Um, so yeah, and, and it may be that you're thinking too much about it. So what is that other technique I could do? Yeah, remember. Okay, yeah, so get them to pull and um, try again. Um, but as long as y'all are hitting and doing it in the correct way, um, it doesn't matter if you don't get a response, okay? So all of your reflexes are intact, so plus two. And then while I'm down here with my Achilles, I'm gonna check your Babinski. So I'm gonna run this sharp thing up the side here. Woo, negative <laughs> Babinski, that's good, all right, all right. Um, and then throughout this assessment, I've been monitoring your level of consciousness with the Glasgow Coma Scale. So for, um, there are three categories of the Glasgow Coma Scale. There's eye opening, there's movement, and there is um, motor speech. Um, so, or verbal response. Um, so for eye opening, when I walked into the room, you opened your eyes, you maintained good contact, eye contact, so I'd give you a four out of um, four on that. And for your um, movement, you have um, followed all of my commands, and so I'd give you a top score of six for that. And for verbal response, you've answered my questions appropriately, you're oriented, your speech is clear, I'd give you a five for that. So your total score would be a 15, which is the maximum score for a um, Glasgow Coma Scale. Um, the lowest score you could get would be a three, and if you had a seven or lower, you probably would be in a comatose state. So that's the end of my neurological assessment.